Kimbo Slice, whenever you're ready, young lady. Okay. So the book that I read was When Will There Be Good News by Kate Atkinson. And the title of my presentation is No More Love to Run. All right, so here's my beautiful cousin again modeling for my cover photo. So the main theme in this novel that I thought was important was growing up. Mm -hmm. And one quote that I wanted to focus on is, where did a person go when they had no one to turn to and nowhere left to run? So this novel essentially follows two characters, one younger one and one older one. And both characters face a horrible struggle during their childhood that really forces them to grow up at an early age. So the first character is Joanna Hunter. And her traumatic childhood was something I really highlighted in my movie trailer. Mm -hmm. So one summer Sunday afternoon, Joanna Hunter and her family with her mom, her older sister, and her little brother were walking through a park. And a stranger comes up and violently attacks them with a knife. So he goes after Joanna's mom first, who really tries to defend her children, but eventually becomes critically wounded and can't help them anymore. So then he goes after her older sister and stabs her, immediately kills her. And at this point, Joanna is obviously freaked out, she's frozen, and she doesn't know what to do. She hears her mom screaming, run, 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 and she has that, but also she sees her little brother, who's a baby, can't even walk, and he's still in the stroller. And the, a man is walking towards the stroller, going to attack her brother. So she has this dilemma, should I try to take the stroller with me when I run or should I just go? And so Joanna decides to run and she runs for hours without looking back. Um, she finally collapses in a field where in the morning rescuers find her and tell her that the rest of her family is gone. But luckily they did find the man that killed them and he went to jail. But at this point Joanna is lost and alone. And my second character that they introduce later is Reggie Chase, who's about our age in this book. So um, when she was a baby, her father died in friendly fire before he even met her. And when she was 14 years old, they found her mom dead in a hotel pool that she was staying at. So also at this point in her life, Reggie is completely alone and lost, just like Joanna was. And this kind of goes back to the quote, where does a person go when they had no one to turn to and nowhere left to run? So the book starts with this call to action. And you might be wondering, well, how do these two characters connect? So flash forward 30 years, Joanna has become a doctor, she's married, and she has a one-year-old son. And she hires Reggie as her nanny. So the two become really close. Reggie's always at their house. And Joanna's kind of like a mother figure and even like a friend figure that Reggie really needs. So the story begins when Joanna's, the murderer of Joanna's family, becomes eligible for parole and is eventually released. And Joanna mysteriously disappears two weeks later. So at this point in the novel, Reggie decides to go out and look for Joanna, knowing the potential danger she faces. And there's also another underlying plot line that I'm not gonna go into, but um, that she, Reggie's the only one concerned about Joanna's disappearance because of this. And so she goes off alone in search of Joanna to face her fears once again. And I don't wanna spoil the ending, but um, the fire plays a major role in the resolution of the novel. Um, at one point, Joanna, her kidnapper, and Reggie all face each other, and they essentially have to face their fears like they did one time as a child. And this time, Joanna is, takes on the role of a protector and has to protect her baby from being killed, just like her mother once protected her. So, at this, so instead of running, Joanna and Reggie stand together and fight for their lives, and it symbolically represents that they have both grown up and change into dynamic characters. Okay, so would I recommend this book for the BL curriculum? Probably not. It's more of like a mystery action novel, and I think that it lacks some like analytical potential, like with metaphors and symbolism that a lot of other books have. And it has a really great action in the beginning and the end of the novel, but it drags on for about 200 pages, and y'all probably won't like that too much. So, that's it.